So what's the difference between a trust and a durable power of attorney? Well, folks, first the trust. In general, a trust is a legal relationship that is created between basically a settlor, a person who has assets, could be investments, could be uh, accounts, could be in real estate, and it is placed in the management of a trustee. And the trustee is to handle the assets in accordance with the way that the trust document is written. And it's handled for the benefit of individuals or an individual called beneficiaries. So basically, your trust documents can be one of two types of trusts. The first is a revocable trust or revocable trust, you might hear it as. With a revocable trust, the terms of the trust are generally very flexible, as I usually say. And by, what I mean by flexible is typically an individual or group of individuals will have the ability or the power to change or amend the trust document or terminate or revoke the document. And generally those powers will sit in the settlor or the grantor, the person who makes the trust. It could be, the power could be in the trustee. And the power could also be in the beneficiaries to do any one of those things, to change or to terminate the trust. Now, the second type of trust that it could be is an irrevocable or irrevocable trust. And as I usually say to clients, ir irrevocable trusts are very rigid, very structured in general, and they're very hard to change. You can't usually change the terms inside the trust. You usually can't change the players inside the trust, whether it be the trustee or the beneficiaries. And those documents are usually created for a specific purpose. So in general, why do people create trusts? Well, the first reason would be for ease of management. If there are a lot of people involved or a lot of assets involved in a particular situation, particular family, then a trust could be created. It could be a revocable or irrevocable trust and it could be to manage those specific assets, sometimes real estate, bank accounts. And so that's one reason is ease of management. Another reason is to avoid probate. Generally, all of your trusts will avoid probate unless there's some type of a challenge by one of the beneficiaries or one of the parties down the line. But the second reason generally is to avoid probate. Third reason is for estate planning purposes meaning mass health, to plan for mass health. Typically, those types of trusts are irre irrevocable or irre irrevocable in nature, and those are the types of trusts that Medicaid or in Massachusetts Mass Health will accept. And in general, the last reason why folks would want to create a trust is to plan for estate taxes. Now, in Massachusetts, there's still an estate tax, and if your estate is worth over a million dollars, then your Ears have to pay estate taxes when you pass away. So for that reason, folks will create trusts to try to plan for estate taxes down the line. And there's different types of revocable and irrevocable trusts that can be created for that purpose. Now, how do you fund a trust? Well, you can fund a trust pretty easily by opening up a bank account under the name of the trust. And that would mean that the trust itself would need to have its own Social Security number or EIN, or if it's real estate we're talking about, then a new D would need to be drafted, right, from the individual, and it would need to be transferred into trust. It's called a deed into trust. That would need to happen and be recorded at the Registry of Deeds. And there's some evidence that has to be recorded with it to evidence that the trust is actually in existence. So that's a trust in a nutshell. Now on to the power of attorney. With, typically with the power of attorney, or in general, a power of attorney, is a, an agency that's created by a maker and by an agent, an individual that's appointed or individuals that's appointed to assist the maker. And so the agent in this situation is called an attorney in fact. So the attorney in fact is appointed by a written document and the maker is going to give that attorney in fact certain powers. Now in general, this written instrument is either going to be limited in scope, in time, called the limited power of attorney. And with the limited power of attorney, 
the job itself is specified inside the document and it's only for the time that that job needs to be done by the agent. And once that task is completed by the agent, the power of attorney goes away. That's limited in time, limited in scope, as opposed to a durable power of attorney. Now, when it comes to a durable power of attorney, usually the maker will appoint an agent and this document will be in effect until the death of the maker. So it can be a number of years. And this durable power of attorney is going to be durable in scope and durable in time, meaning there's going to be a lot of general powers that are given to the attorney in fact or the agent to handle for the maker. Things like handling bank accounts and assets and real estate and paying taxes and collecting debt and hiring agents to assist. Also representation in front of a court of law, representation in front of a government agency like Medicaid or Mass Health. All of these types of powers are specified in a durable power of attorney and it's meant to be durable in time and scope so that if the individual should become sick or even if the individual just needs this as a matter of convenience, the agent can act on behalf of the maker and do the tasks that were given to him or her or them. So that is the difference between a trust and a power of attorney. Now, if you're watching me on Facebook, make sure that you like the video. If you're watching me on YouTube, make sure you, that you subscribe in the lower right-hand corner. Also on YouTube, some of my prior videos will be appearing here. A list will appear as well. Many of the videos are short so that they're meant to be definitions to help you further understand the concepts that I'm talking about here, but they're all related. Also, be sure to watch some of the videos I've included in the description of this video. So there's links to those prior videos also meant to be related to this video and to help reinforce some of the concepts I'm talking about. If you're watching me on YouTube, those links will be down below inside the description. If you're watching me on Facebook, most times the, the links to the videos will be above. So make sure you check those out as well too. Dave Cerullo, CerulloLaw.com.